coming soon to a theater near you. Return to the Forbidden Planet. Return to the Forbidden Planet was written by Bob Carlton and it's based incredibly loosely on The Tempest by Shakespeare. Uh, take The Tempest, mix it with a B-movie sci-fi set, set it in space, and add some of the best rock and roll music that everybody knows, and that's the return to the Forbidden Planet. It also draws a lot of references from the movie that quite a few of you might have seen, Forbidden Planet. The story is fairly simple. You certainly don't need to be able to understand Shakespeare to follow the story. It has everything that you would expect in a science fiction story. Evil scientists, a robot, uh, a magic potion, an alien and a meteorite storm. So it's got pretty much everything that you would expect from a science fiction film. Yes, it's got Shakespeare's language, but it's the best bits from every Shakespeare that you might ever have heard of mixed in and made much easier to understand. And also to make it easier for everyone to understand, in true Shakespeare tradition, there is a chorus. In this play, it's in the form of a newscaster who every now and then will pop up on a big screen behind the rocket and tell everyone what's happened so far. Vouchsafe to those that can follow the story that I may prompt them, and such as have. I humbly pray them to admit the excuse of time of numbers and due course of things, which cannot in their huge and proper life be here presented. When the rocket crash lands on a mysterious alien planet, uh, the evil scientist Dr. Prospero actually communicates with the rocket via um, the big screen as well. So he performs his first song and his first few speeches on the big screen as well. Hey man, do you understand me now? Sometimes I feel a little mad. But don't you know that no one alive can always be an angel. When things go wrong, I seem to be bad. But I'm just a soul whose intentions are good. Oh Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. It's a huge departure for Richmond Operatic Society. Uh, normally performing Oklahoma or Gilbert and Sullivan, this is the first time that we've had a, a rock and roll band on stage. It's the first time that our characters have been radio mic It's certainly the first time that they've sung well-known rock and roll songs rather than sort of specially written musical songs. Technically, there's some really big challenges as well. You name it, this show contains it, but it's been great fun as well. <laughs>